going back to buying this book, is the people that are going to walk out of this room right after this talk, if you're not getting on your phone and looking at this video right before you go to your next class, that's the mindset I'm telling you. Like, if, I'm, if I was in your guys' seat right now, and I, I'm someone like myself is telling you, hey, go watch this video, and I've probably repeated it four or five times already today, like, as soon as you walk here, you should be putting your headphones up and looking up that video. If you're not, again, that's taking ownership that you're not willing to invest 15 minutes instead of going on your social media watching this super powerful video that's going to help you down the road. That, that's to the level of how extreme it's going to be going back to, like, if you're not successful, like, that's, that falls on you because you're willing to invest 15 minutes of your time to go to your next class and watch this video. Where I'm telling you, like, it's that impactful. Um, Grit, this is another good one by Angela Duckworth. I look her up on YouTube. All these authors, look them up, except for this, I think him. Um, he's, he's long gone. Uh, she's, a, she's a podcast, or not a podcast. She has a TED Talk, but she has a podcast. She might have a podcast, but yeah, she has a great TED Talk. Most of them have TED Talks, and uh, she has a great, uh, she basically talks about like grit is, on, is a whole other thing that, 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 that we think of, and that's really what makes people successful is the willingness to, to just grind, basically. But watch it, it's really good. Um, Simon Sinek, uh, he has another TED Talk. He, his TED Talk is probably like 10 years old. Um, it, you can even see the video is super like old school, but just powerful stuff, powerful stuff. Um, Ryan Holiday, this is probably my favorite author right now. He's a young guy, but he just knows how to, he, he's a, just a great writer. But he's been on tons of podcasts, tons of talks on YouTube. Um, he's extremely sharp, but um, just to me, he's just something about the way he writes, just it definitely hits me on a whole other level. Um, and then uh, he, this is another book of his, is The Obstacle is the Way. Um, different concepts, but very similar message. Uh, these are, but yeah, watch him on uh, on YouTube there. Hey, everybody get that? Anyone want to go good? You can take a photo too if you wanted to. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this is kind of uh, what I would recommend. There's a lot of podcasts that, that I can recommend if you email me. You guys all good with this? Yeah. Cool. Uh, this is all my info. So email, more than, uh, more than welcome to email me. You can follow me if you want. I post a lot of like on my on my stories. I, I try to post every almost every day. Try to post something that makes you think. You're gonna sometimes people will read my stories and and it's not me giving absolutes. I just want you to see something and just I want you to think. Whether it's like exercise related or leadership related, entrepreneurship related, just to make your mind like. There's not black and white. There's always some type of kind of gray middle. That's my number if you want to shoot me a call. And then we have a website. It's not like it's it's up, it's ready, but uh, it's still kind of getting uh, getting fine tuned. Uh, yeah. When did you know that you wanted to open your own like business? Yeah. yeah so that's a tricky one because I when I was when I was doing my master's, I was either going to do the the strength and conditioning route at like a university. I was going to do. I was going to apply to like the lower. Uh, the minor leagues in MLB, kind of start there and then work way up, or I was going to do this. Um, the big thing was just at the university level, one, it was that there's not a lot of stability, that you know, if a new coach comes in, they're probably going to bring their own guy in, and so there's, you're going to be, you're going to have to move and relocate. Um, two, it's kind of you're limited with who you're working with. Like to me, I would have never thought I love working with boxers. Like to me, I, I wasn't a huge boxing fan, but like that's probably my favorite athlete to work with. Um, so being in this private sector, you get so much more freedom because you can work with whoever you want. What, uh, and you can still be like a special, you know, like you have a specialty. Like for me, it was boxing, but I can still train a football guy. Uh, I can train a volleyball a female. It doesn't really matter. So there's just so much, I uh, just a little bit, it's less boredom for me because like, you get something different on an everyday basis. Yeah, so I think I decided, I don't know, maybe once I, once I was in my later stages of my, uh, of my master's, when I was inside, right, I'm gonna go full boat uh, on this entrepreneur thing. And that's why you know, I was saving money, whether it was gonna be to move and relocate, because I knew being a minor league uh, baseball coach, you're not making much money, so I was saving for that, or I was saving to open up the business. Yeah. Questions? Do you have a class that followed you over? Yeah, so I was working, my 24 hours I was working with was literally like a four minute drive, so that helped a lot, and I've, so there's, a, there's been, uh, what was it, this, this, 
If you guys want to, I can, yeah, I can stick around with you at 9 o'clock. But uh, essentially, yeah, I had a, uh, my clients all came over, and that tends to help and gives you a big advantage to, to being successful off the get go. Because you want to get as much money into the business as soon as possible. So you can have that nice, good savings account so you can either buy new equipment or just keep it for a rainy day. So I would say if you guys are looking to start, um, it does help to start in a, in a corporate gym. Uh, not only do you get clients, but you also learn the sales experience. Like one of, we have one coach that, that he never worked in a corporate gym, and his hard, the hardest part for him was learning the sales, and because he never had that experience. At 24, like that's what you, you got to sell. They might give you a client to start, and then after that, they might give you three sessions, and then you got to learn to convert that into a long-term prospect. So I think it helps to either start at a corporate gym or as an internship. Um, you can learn the business and, and kind of do a lot of role playing. You know, like all my interns sit in, and I have like a new person coming in, they'll sit there and just kind of take notes and, and hear what I'm having uh, the conversation with the, with the top of the prospect. Yeah, so it definitely helps to have that list. Anyone else, anyone else? So quick thing before you guys all take off. <clears throat> as we're studying, right, exams next Wednesday, uh, as you're going into studying, read your chapters, use the objectives as your study guide. So if you can properly answer those questions, you should be okay, right? Use both. Also, principles, introduction to strength and conditioning, that will still be on there. Why lactate doesn't cause DOM, why squatting is below your knees is okay, all those kinds of myths that we kind of dispelled, those will be on the exam. Uh, other than that, you guys are free to go if you want to stick around and still ask yeah, questions. Yeah, if you guys more off here, if you guys want to stick around. If you guys want a business card, you can grab them. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to ask her. Cool, Mike, here. Yeah, I Sorry. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. Did I, did I, did you get anything today? Oh, no. Uh, question, guys. Large? Uh, I'll take a bye. Thank you. That was awesome. You got it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Awesome. Yeah, thanks for this. No, you're welcome. I miss you. 